Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to add more light and contrast with the Dodge and Burn tool for your digital paintings. From time to time, I create an illustration, spend a lot of time rendering it, and realize sometime later that it's missing some contrast in certain areas. If I had to render it again, I would lose too much time, but lucky for us, we are working digitally, giving us the possibility to use a handful of tricks and techniques to correct it without having to spend hours having to render it again. There is many ways to correct such mistake, and today I want to show you one of them, the Dodge and Burn tool. All right, step one, let's look at the tool and where it is in Photoshop. In Photoshop, you'll have the uh, Burn and Dodge tool right here. And when you click on it, uh, you're going to have three things appear, the Dodge tool, the Burn tool, and the Sponge tool. I won't explain what the Sponge tool is, but basically for you to know, it's a sponge. Uh, the sponge, you can add uh, a little bit more... Um, a saturation or you can desaturate your illustration but in this case we won't use it we're going to keep with the dodge and burn tool for this video uh, the dodge tool with add light and the burn tool with take out light the second thing is going to be important for us to know is uh, the menu panel that comes with it. If I were to take the Dutch tool, for example, it's going to give me a range of different uh, things that I can do here, uh, starting with the range itself. Uh, I can choose between shadow, midtones, and highlights, which means that the effect that I will apply on the illustration will affect the darkest color, the midtone color or the midtone values and the highlights, so the highest value of the illustration. Then the exposure is something more like the flow uh, which or the speed which the uh, the tool will work. At 100% it's going to be really fast and if I put 10% it's going to be very low basically. Uh, so those are the basic features that you have to take care of when you do. The rest of them uh, you won't have to take care of it for now. So that brings us at step three, and it's the method that I'm going to use to actually do this. So like I was saying, uh, what I want to do here is to add uh, a little bit more light in the glasses. Uh, I want to darken a little bit the hair at certain areas, and I want to make sure that the direction of the light, which comes from... So the direction of the light, which comes from this, basically, and I would like to make sure that it's more prominent so that we see it more basically. Uh, and for that, I'm going to use the Dodge and Burn tool. The first thing you want to do, uh, the Dodge and Burn tool is a tool that you have to paint on top of your illustration. What I don't like about this is it's going to modify my illustration, but it is, there's a better trick to actually do this. What you want to do is create a new layer. You want to fill up this layer with a 50% gray. So make sure that it's at 50%. And then you want to put this one, oops, then you want to put this one, uh, you want to fit it up basically, and you want to put it to a uh, overlay um, layer mode here. What it's going to do is basically you won't see any difference because it's 50% gray, but I'm going to apply the Dodge and Burn tool on this, and because it's overlay, we'll see the effect on the illustration, but I'll have the control over my layer, uh, and you'll see in a minute what I mean by this. So, what I would like to do first is to add a little bit more light into the glasses. So I'm going to take the Dutch tool. The Dutch tool will add light and the burn tool will add shadow. So I'm going to take the, the Dutch tool and I'm going to go over here my range here. Like I was saying, the shadow will affect the darkest part. The midtone will have the midtone values and the highlights with the, the highest value of your illustration. I'm going to show you what it does for each of them for, for starter. So if I would go with highlights and I'm going to go 100% in exposure and I'm going to start painting in the glasses. What it's going to do is going to add light on basically everything it's going to basically burn the whole thing because i'm on my highlights that's going to add a lot of light right away it's going to affect basically any kind of value that you have if i were to go back to the original and take it to the midtone that is going to affect only the midtone values first so i'm going to do this obviously if you keep painting on it it's just going to add and add and add uh, but it's going to add just the midtone values if i go with the shadows that's going to affect the darkest parts of it, adding just basically a little bit of light into the, the blacks area. In this case, for the glasses, uh, the one, the, the, the tones that I really want to adjust is the midtone values. So I'm going to choose midtone and I'm going to go over it. I'm just going to paint a little bit to add a little bit more light. I don't want more than that. And I can click the layer up and down and now I can see the difference. And that's perfect. That's the amount of effect that I wanted to add. So that's perfect. 
The other thing that I wanted to do was to add a little bit more light direction to just make sure that the light direction is more obvious. So what I'm going to do once again is I'm going to use the, the Dutch tool and I'm going to use the midtone value first for the skin tone. I think that's going to be the one that's going to affect uh, the skin tone the best. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to paint in the light direction, basically. Make sure that my exposure is not too much. And then try to just add a little bit more of that light direction at the right places. So around the forehead, maybe the nose, a little bit on the face. That's too much. Let's go back here. A little bit on the hand, maybe the forearm, and a bit on the, the shoulder right here. So now if I flick ups and down, see that's adding a little bit more light. Uh, I'm going to add the burn tool this time. And the burn tool is going to add uh, basically the, the opposite. It's going to darken the colors. Cool trick to know if I'm on the Dutch tool, if you press on Alt, that's going to burn. It's going to bring the burn tool basically instead of having the Dutch tool. So that you can do. I'm just going to go back a few steps uh, and I'll do that. So I'm just going to add some darkened color for the shoulder here and under the arm here and just basically just adding a few like this. And I'm going to do the same thing with the hair. I'm just going to burn a little bit the hair at the back just to make sure that we feel the light direction a little bit more. Now if I flick my layer you can see that now i feel like the light direction is a lot more coming from the front but it's too much the good thing though is i because i'm on my own layer i'm able to play with the opacity so i can bring the opacity a little bit down to just have the right effect as i want it i think around 30 percent that should be perfect and that's it. I've been able to change the light direction, add a little bit more contrast, a little bit more value with the color dodge, um, the, with the dodge and the burn tool really easily. Just have to remember to put a layer of 50% gray on your illustration so you don't, uh, you don't affect the actual pixels of your illustration. If you're happy with the result, what you can do is just select both of them, do command E. Uh, to uh, bring them together and that's it you have just control over your values now there's a lot of different ways to do this but this is a really quick one that i really like and that's why i wanted to show it to you and that's it for this video guys i hope this was useful i would like you to let me know in the comment below this video what is the one thing you struggle the most when you're actually painting is it lighting rendering coloring please just let me know in the comment below this video. And as usual, if you don't want to miss any videos, click on the subscribe button right now. I'll make sure to have one of those videos every week. Uh, for the rest, have a good day and happy painting.